Hi, let's do a review sheet. So as you do this review sheet, there's a couple assumptions that I'm making. One is that you have tried all these problems. If you haven't tried the problem, you shouldn't be watching the video about it. Number two, you are familiar with the basic definition of a logarithm. That is, you've watched the previous videos, you've paid attention in class, you've looked at your notes, you're not coming into this page completely blind. I'm not going to teach you things from zero, like step zero. Uh, so I'm assuming you come in with some knowledge. Also, the same deal with E. Uh, there's a video about E that you should watch, or just like go back and review your class notes. Um, and then part three is you know how to do logs on your calculator. I'm not going to show you every calculator step for every move here. You need to be able to do this, uh, and I'm going to go fast through it. You should have your calculator next to you as you're doing this page. Uh, all right, first problem. This first group of problems is just a bunch of equations that involve logarithms. Uh, so you know it's an equation that's going to need a log when you have a variable in the exponent. When you see this, you're going to be taking a log. Um, let's approach this one as if we didn't know that e was a special number. Uh, if we thought, if this was just e, uh, if this was just 5 to the x is 54, we would write it as log base 5 of 54 is equal to x. So e here is just taking the role of that 5. So uh, it's not 5 to the x is 54. It's e to the x is 54. So we'll write it like log base e of 54.598 equals x. Now when you go to your calculator and you want to do log base e, there's no such button. So that's where the natural log thing comes in. This is the same as, just by definition, ln, natural log of 54.598. That's a 5. Ooh, 54.598, which we'll evaluate in the calculator. And when you evaluate in the calculator, you get something like 3.99999. What you might be noticing here is that this is really close to 4. The problem writer here probably started with the number 4 and worked backwards. Um, they rounded a little bit here. And so when you work it backwards and you try to solve for x, this number is almost but not exactly 4. So we'll just write 3.99. Um, It's not appropriate, though, to write 3.99 repeating, because as you look, it does not repeat forever. It starts to do this other stuff. Um, this would be probably the best exact answer. We're going to speed up as we go through these next ones. Natural log is log base e of x. That's the same thing. So this is saying that e to the 2.303 will equal x. You can do this in your calculator, uh, and it should match what you get on the answer sheet. C, log base x of 9 is equal to 2. So this one's cool. <clears throat> I think this is a really nice problem. We've never really had an x as a base before. So that doesn't make a lot of sense right now, but let's just rewrite it in exponent form and see what we get. This is the same as x, that's the base, to the second power equals 9. And hmm, let's look at this for a second. What, what values of x could make this true? Well, we could have x is 3 or x is negative 3. So this one does actually have two answers. Um, it doesn't necessarily make sense to have a negative base for a log, but uh, at least in our terms, there's two possible answers here. All right, part D. Three, okay, the hardest part of part D was just reading the problem. This is 3.1, the number times the natural log of x is 15.5303. I'm gonna assume that this one was a mistake. Um, just for the sake, you have to pick one. So let's divide by 3.1 on both sides. I'm going to pause for a second, figure out what that is. It looks like it's a number really close to 5, and this is probably where the problem writer got uh, those numbers from, is taking 5 and doing some natural log business to it. So what I'm just going to write it as is ln of x is equal to 5. Then ln is log base e. So this is the same as saying x is e to the fifth, which again is a number you can find in your calculator if you wanted the exact decimal. I prefer just leaving it like this, e to the fifth. It's kind of like leaving pi in your answers problems involving circles. Uh, it's good to just leave it. Next problem. 
Log base 10 of x is 2.154. 10 is the base. Um, x is the uh, argument here. So this is going to say 10, the 2.154 is equal to x. This is just a number. So just plug it in using your calculator to get the exact answer. F. So now we've got some uh, terms that need logarithms. Maybe. Uh, let's take a look at this for a second. Probably the easiest thing to do is do a straight go to a logarithm. Um, log. Now the base here of this expression is 0 0.3. So I'm going to write log base 0 0.3 of this thing, 0 0.0081 will equal x. So the whole point of us developing logarithms is that it's a way to rearrange an exponential expression like this so that x is alone on one side, which is our goal. This is something you can put in your calculator. Just out of curiosity, let's put it in and see what we get. Um, if you've forgotten how to do that, you're going to hit the alpha button and then the window button. Alpha, window, and you're going to go to number 5. Then you can type in the base and then scroll over to get, uh, type in the number. Oh, look, it's equal to 4. So again, that's, it turns out to be a nice number. That's always sort of nice and comforting. Um, but that's where the problem writer got this from. There might be an easier way to do this by converting the uh, bases into, um, I don't know, something with the same base, but with the logs and the calculators, it's easier just to type it in. All right, part G, 2.5 log 0.12 of x is equal to 12.5. Man, this looks scary. Just like looking at this problem, it just looks terrifying. So let's take it apart. We have 2.5 times something. Well, so the first step is just going to be divide by 2.5. Oh, hey, look, it's 5. So really this equation is saying log base 0.12 of x equals 5. And that's saying, translating to exponent form, that's 0.12 to the fifth equals x. Let's find out what that is. Oh, it's something in scientific notation. So this is 2.48832 times 10 to the negative fifth, which is what the scientific notation means. Notice, by the way, this E in your calculator that means scientific notation is a capital E. The E that we're using in these problems with log base E is a lowercase e. They're completely different things. Uh, so don't get one mixed up for the other. And this is not, is not uh, the E that means 2.71. Last problem. 6 times 5 to the 2x equals this. Uh, first step, divide by 6. Divide by 6, you get 29.36. So we have 5 to the 2x is 29.36 dot dot dot. I'm putting the dot 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 here. So on your paper, you can write down the truncated version, but you should keep this in your calculator. Now I'm going to do a log here. So the base is five. So I'm going to do log base five of 29.36 dot 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 equals two X. All right. So let's try that log log thing again. Oh, wrong menu. Alpha window log base 5. And here's where I go get the old number. So you get the whole thing up in your calculator. And then to solve for x over here, I need to divide by 2. So I'm going to get something like x is 1.05. Good. That's the first section. This is just kind of the raw calculation. Um, the hardest part is just not being afraid of the decimals and, and knowing when to use your calculator and when to switch forms. Next set of questions. Um, for these 8 through 11, it probably should have said evaluate the logarithm without a calculator where possible. 
Um, some of these just aren't really possible to evaluate without a calculator, but what it is always possible to do is to write it in exponent form. That can be kind of your proof that this isn't something you can do without a calculator. So uh, let's just practice that. If we wanted to write this in exponent form, I like to set that equal to x. We'll say, hey, whatever this is, it's going to equal x. Then this would be saying 100 to the x equals 10. Hmm, that's kind of weird. You may remember that the square root of 100 equals 10. That's a true statement. And what we didn't do a lot of in class, but you may remember, I'm sorry about that, what you may remember is that this is the same as 100 to the 1 half. So if we're writing it, if this is true in red, 100, square root 100 is 10, then this is true, 100 to the 1 half is 10, and in this equation we're looking for 100 to the x is 10, then the solution must be x equals 1 half. And so the way to do it without a calculator is just write it in exponent form and see if there's anything that you know or see or recognize. Let's try that with number 3 here. I don't, oh, we go from 2 to 3. So if we set this equal to x, then this would be saying e8 to the x is equal to 32. Um, well, let's look at our powers of 8. 8 to the first, that's 8. 8 squared, that's 64. So, huh, well, shoot, this is somewhere between 1 and 2. Um, that's probably about where I'd like you to leave it. Don't get, you know, fancy with fractional powers, uh, and because we haven't really talked about them, and I'd rather you just kind of avoid them until you really know what you're doing with them. So uh, for this one, this is probably about all you can do with it. Um, the final answer, I think, is x equals 1.5. Let's try that out. Let's see. Uh, 8 to the 1.5. Oh, hey! Well, this is a perfect example. Doesn't it seem like it would be 1.5 because, hey, this is halfway in between, like 8 and 64 is 32, but you actually do it and it's not? So this is kind of a mistake in the video and I'm going to leave it in right now on purpose because I think it shows off what confusion this fractional powers are. So if you type this thing in, in, in your calculator, Let's see what we get. Log base 8 of 32. Oh, it's this gross number, 1.66667, um, or 5 thirds. So really the answer is x equals 5 over 3. Um, we haven't done that yet. Like, this is something we haven't done yet. You'll probably see next year um, is these fractional powers where it's not just a half. So for now, just leave it in exponent form. Um, this one you can do for sure, because we know that exponent rule. So if this was equal to x, then you would write it as 7 to the x is 1 over 49. Now we know that uh, 7 squared is 49. So it has to be true by that exponent rules about negative exponents that 7 to the negative 2 is 1 over 49. Then comparing these two statements, it kind of seems obvious that we must have x equals negative 2. Because if this is true, then this is true. And so x has to be negative 2. Number 5 is a great problem. 5, uh, or, oh, number 5. ln of e to the third. All right, ln is the same as log base e of e to the third. The whole point of logs, the entire reason we have them, is that if you have a log with a matching base of a power like this, it's just the exponent. Logs are exponents. If you don't believe me, let's just do this sort of the long way. So we'll put this over here. We know the answer is 3. Um, but if we set this equal to x, then we would say e to the x is equal to e to the third, because this is log base e. So e to the x is e to the third. Well, then we must have x equals 3. So there's two separate ways to look at it. Both ways give you x as 3. 
This nest set of problems is again just more calculating. So uh, here we're going to match the bases. Square root of 2. You have to know that this is the same as 2 to the 1 half, to solve this problem at least. So uh, this is the same as 2 times 2 to the 1 half to the x plus 4. This 2 is 2 to the first. Here is 1 half, uh, if we're going to combine these, it has to be 1 half times x plus 4. So this is the same as 2 to the first is equal to 2 to the 1 half x plus 2. Remembering that this has to distribute to both pieces. Now that we've got matching bases, we can compare the exponents and write that 1 equals 1 half x plus 2. That translates to saying that negative 1 equals 1 half x, or multiplying by 2, negative 2 equals x. For the next problem, 2 to the x is 53. This is a straightforward log problem. Log base 2 of 53 equals x. This would be a good stop, place to stop and just make sure that you know how to put logs in, in your calculator. That's uh, the only thing that you can do with this here is put it in your calculator, since 53 is not an even power of 2. Number 8. Oh, this is a beautiful problem. It looks like it's something we can't solve, but let's take a look at this for a second. Log base 2 of 512. This is a number. If you've got your calculator, you can probably just type it in, but um, let's talk about how you do this without a calculator. This is saying 2 to the what equals 512. And we can just write down the powers of 2. Here's 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, 256, 512. So this is 2 to the 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, ninth. So this is really just 9 because 2 to the ninth is 512. Now that this is just 9, let's just rewrite it. 3 log 2 of x equals 9. Now it's rewritten. Let's divide everything by 3. So we get log base 2 of x equals 3. Let's convert to exponent form again. 2 to the third equals x, and hey, that's 8. So there's our x. All without a calculator. You don't need a calculator to do a lot of problems like this, as long as you kind of know your powers and you recognize that 512 looks like an even power. Even if you don't know exactly the number that it's 2 to the ninth, you can just make this list of powers and count if you want. Number 9 looks like something we didn't teach you, um, and there are some rules here that we didn't teach you, but you can do this problem anyway. This is a number. It is approximately 1.09861228.9. So well, all we can do really is go, all right, let's add to each side so that it reduces out here. So why don't I do this? Add 5 and this side becomes 6.0986. So really we've got ln of x plus 2 is equal to 6.0986 dot dot dot. There's a way, like again, in Math 4, you're going to see a way to get a more exact answer for this. But for now, this is where we're going to leave it. Um, or at least leave the first step. Second step, though, is this is the same as log base e. So converting to exponent form, uh, this is going to be e to the 6.0986 equals x plus 2. Um, going back to the calculator, let's, let's do that. e to the blah. Do that. All right, equals x plus 2. So to get x alone, I'm going to subtract 2. 443.239. So uh, we'll subtract 2, and we'll get 443.23, we'll say is approximately equal to x. 
So kind of a messy problem um, because we don't have all of the tools that we'd really like to have yet, but something that you can do anyway, especially if you got your calculator. And number 10. Uh, all right, this is a base matching problem, uh, very much like you saw in that quiz, uh, the most previous quiz and the, and the most one of the second most recent videos I've done with lots of base matching problems. 27 is 3 to the third. You've got to know your powers of 3. Just like it was helpful to know our powers of 2 in the previous problem, you really want to know your powers of 3. So this is really 3 to the 2x minus 1 is equal to 3 to the third to the x. So I'm just taking 27, substituting 3 to the third into the original. I'm not doing anything else, no other changes. Now we're going to apply our exponent rules. 3 to the 2x minus 1 is the same as 3 to the 3x. Now I've got a same base. I'm going to compare the exponents. 2x minus 1 equals 3x. So negative 1 equals x by subtracting 2x. And look at that. There's our answer. Next problem. This is another base matching problem. 25 is 5 squared. So I'm just going to write this as 5 to the 3x minus 8 is 5 squared to the 2x. So I have 5 to the 3x minus 8 is 5 to the 4x. Bases match, and there's one on each side, so we'll compare these directly. 3x minus 8 is equal to 4x. Hey, let's subtract 3x again. Feels like a, a very popular trick. Minus 8 equals x. And there's your x. Let's see what's next. Oh, where to go? All right, uh, now with this type of problem, we're getting into the word problem. So what I'm going to do is cut the video off here upload this, and then record another video that goes into all these word problems. So I'll see you guys very soon.